Hello viewers, this is Raghad Aruna taking you through today's tutorial on how to obtain square roots of complex numbers using the concept of equality. So equality of complex numbers, if Z1 equal to A1 plus B1i and Z2 equal to A2 plus B2i, so here there is an i and they are equal, it implies that their real parts are equal, so A1 and B equal to A2 and so also their imaginary parts are equal, so B1 will be equal to B2. So that's the concept of equality. We shall use it to solve this problem. Given the complex number Z and its conjugate Z bar, satisfy the equation Z times Z bar plus 2iZ equal to 12 plus 6i. Find the possible values of Z. So in this case, we shall first let Z to be equal to A plus BI. And Z bar will be A minus BI. So when substituting the given equation, you shall get Z, Z bar, and also here Z. All that we shall expand to get. So expand this is a complex number and this conjugate. It will be equal to A squared plus B squared. So in, after that, for this one to be 2AI and minus. Now the minus comes from this I and this I, which is I squared. So minus to be equal to 12 plus 6i. So when you collect like terms on the left hand side, real part will be a squared plus b squared minus 2b, which is this, and the major part will be 2a. For the right, right hand side, it will be 12 plus 6i. Then you shall now compare real part and imaginary part. Remember the concept for equality, real parts are equal and also imaginary parts are equal on either side. So for imaginary parts, we shall get this 6i and this 2a-i. So this 2a and this 6 are equal, so we shall say 2a equal to 6 to get a as 3. Do the same, compare the real parts. So this is equal to 12, which is that. But you already know that our a is 3, so we substitute 3 here. We shall come up with a quadratic equation in b. Factorize it out to come up with that. That means that b is equal to 3 or b is equal to negative 1. But remember our z was equal to a plus b i. So we substitute for a and b. One z will be 3 minus i. Another z will be 3 plus 3 i. So that's how they solve for z. Then problem 2, they want us to evaluate the square root of 15 plus 8 i. So in this case, we shall first let z to be equal to a plus b i. And that will be the square root of 15 plus 8i. That implies that a plus bi is equal to the square root of 15 plus 8i. So when you square both sides, we shall come up with this. And when you expand this, we shall come up with that. After that, now we shall expand, we shall collect like terms. This and this are real, so we put them on one side. This is that. Now from there, we shall now compare. Comparing the imaginary parts, we shall say 2ab is equal to 8. We, can, we shall come up with b equal to 4 over a. Comparing real parts, we shall come up with a squared minus b squared equal to 15, which is that. So, but we already know that b is 4 over a. So come and substitute 4 over a here to get 16 over a squared because it was b was squared. Then we make Multiply through by a squared, we shall come up with a to power 4 minus 15 a squared minus 16 equal to 0. Factorize that, we shall come up with a squared plus 1, a squared minus 16. So for a squared plus 1, we shall come up with a as plus or minus negative of root, plus or minus root of negative 1, which is plus or minus i. And for this, we shall come up with a as plus or minus 4. But a, remember, a is a real value, so we shall ignore this imaginary part and take the real one, which is plus or minus 4. So for a equal to positive 4, we shall come up with b as 4 over 4, which is 1. And for a equal to negative 1, we shall come up with b 4 over negative 4, which is negative 1. So those will be the values of a and b. And therefore the square root, remember it's in the form a plus b i. It will be equal to plus or minus 4 plus i. So that will be the square root and that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. 
Rowa e-learning platform. Thank you.